It has been a very long time since we have done this, but I think it's time to break out the Camo 270 and the Dry Leaves Ghillie Suit. Now, before anybody asks, because I know there's going to be a couple people that are wondering, you cannot get the uh, Ghillie Suit or the Camo 270 anymore. Both of these are from a promotional thing that they did when Call of the Wild first came out, where if you had a membership on the Hunter Classic and you got Call of the Wild within the first month, you got both of these for free, but it's no longer available, unfortunately. But since I haven't used them in forever, I figured we might as well try them out today and just kind of see what we can do with the 270 here with some whitetail hunting. I'm going to try and start picking up the grind for the great one again, so I figure what a better way to start out than with using a couple things that we haven't used in a very long time. So there is a few bucks right here. I think we're going to go ahead and take out these two. This one's not at the best angle, and the 270 doesn't have as good a penetration and damage as, say, a 30 out 6 or the 303. So let's see what we can do here. That second shot might have been a bit high, but we got both of them. Hopefully, we can get the third one if he slows down a little bit. And he stopped too much. Well, we ended up missing that, but I mean, it is what it is. I haven't really been doing this as much recently, but I'm going to try and keep track of how many whitetail we kill. I believe we were at around 3,000 when we stopped grinding for them, so we're just going to say 3,000 and... We'll see how many we're at by the end of this video, but I am going to try and keep track of it from now on. So I will be writing down every single harvest we get and well, let's see how long it takes us to get a great one. We got our troll great one at around, I think, 2700 kills, so hopefully we can uh, get an actual great one soon. Just a 170 scoring silver on the first one and the second guy is a 176, so not too much better, but a pretty decent looking rack for a small one. Now we have had an update or two since the last time that I hunted for Whitetail, so I guess we'll probably have to adjust a few of our zones if I were to uh, take a guess, but I mean, we'll see. So far it's looking very similar to what it was before, minus uh, this zone not being here, but if I remember right, I think we deleted this zone last time that we played, so I guess that would make sense. Well, it sounds like after months of not having them here there's finally some whitetail back at mushroom lake that's really nice to see i was wondering when we'd get a herd to spawn in here uh for those of you that don't know anytime that you delete a herd now it seems that they just respawn at a random location and a lot of times even if you don't delete the zone and just shoot bucks normally eventually they quit spawning in the herds that you shot them from and they end up elsewhere and it looks like we finally managed to get a lucky roll and have one land here at Mushroom Lake. So that's pretty sweet, actually. Been waiting for that to happen again. There is two bucks right there. Both of them are fleeing, so I think now is about as good of time as ever to get a tent down right here. I don't know exactly where we're going to want to put this, but a lot of times if you run away from a uh, tent... If you're too close to, like, let's say a zone, once you start w running away, they actually will spawn in. So we might try to do that, but I'm just not sure how the best way to approach this is going to be. Honestly, I don't think I'm even going to put a tent here. We can always just run from the lodge if we need to. It's not that far away. And there we go. There is the white-tailed deer. So they finally stopped moving. Which means we can finally get a shot off on at least one of these guys. Hopefully two of them if we can. I think we got both of them actually. And yeah, that one went down and the second one we hard shot. Apologies if I stumble over my words a little bit more than normal. This is video three of the day. I'm still trying to prepare videos for the first couple weeks after the baby's born, so doing a little more recording in one single day than I normally would do, so starting to get a little bit tired, but we will power through it and hopefully make some progress towards the great one. We did pretty decent at this zone getting two of them down within a really short amount of time, so 176 on that guy. And this one over here is, I think, bigger. Yeah. I mean, 85 to 100, it's a small one for that estimate, but 
Still 200 plus. Wait a second. Oh, oh my gosh, that is actually a piebald. That thing looks huge. 221 on the upper estimate. That might be the biggest piebald that I have seen since they changed the scoring on them. That is a really awesome thing to find. That is an absolute giant. Now, I don't want to risk losing this thing with the render bug, so we're going to run all the way around, and hopefully we can make a good shot on this guy. I hate this render bug. It's very unfortunate that it's still a thing, but I guess on the bright side, it'll make us take a safer shot on this thing, so let's try to loop around and get vision on this guy again. That is so awesome to see. I was hoping we'd find at least something good today since it's been a while since we've done a great one grinding video and well I'd say that's a pretty awesome start right there oh and also you guys will have missed a couple lakes that I went to because my uh, accidentally stopped my recording when I was trying to write down how many kills we were at on the great one I pressed the uh, the key that ends my recording so yeah that's a little unfortunate but at least I noticed it before we spotted this guy. And that is a beauty right there. I am so excited to see this guy. Look at that beautiful buck. He looks even better up close. That is a beautiful deer. You know, honestly, I think what we'll do is let's put the Argus scope on the 270 just so we can get a closer look at him. I typically use the Hyperion, but for this scenario right here, I think we'll put on the Argus and man, what a beauty. That rack has a little bit of character too. The right antler seems to point up a little bit more and curl inwards more also. That's really cool. We're going to try and get this one too, but this guy is the focus. Oh no. Did we just... I think we just brain shot him. I'm not 100% sure, but he just jumped in front of the other deer. Oh, please don't be a brain shot. If it's a brain shot, that's going to ruin a guaranteed gold piebald. I can't believe that just happened. I have never had a deer run in front of uh, the second one I tried to shoot so perfectly. At least not a uh, diamond or rare. That's a little unfortunate. I'm just going to hope that we didn't hit it in the head. Because if we did, that's going to be really sad. But I think based off of the way he kind of spun around, I'd imagine that we hit him in the lungs again. I, I guess we'll find out soon. Please don't let this be bad. I mean, I wonder if we'll be able to see an impact. Uh... Like, if you look really closely, you can sometimes see the impact, and I don't really see one on the head. Oh, please let this not be screwed up. Oh my gosh. We didn't screw it up. We hit middle neck. That could not have been any closer. We are so lucky, honestly. That is way too close for comfort on one of the coolest looking piebald bucks I've ever killed. That is pretty sweet. It's not too often that you get a really wonky looking piebald or wonky looking rare in general. So that's pretty cool. Definitely can't complain there. And this is, I believe, the second biggest one I've ever killed. The biggest one was before they changed the scoring system. So this, I believe, is better, I'd say. It's going to score a few points lower, but in terms of their current size I think this is probably better than the previous one that I had I mean either way that's an awesome deer I can't really complain such a beautiful buck well it just gets better and better that is a level 3 whitetail deer let's go guys we got ourselves a level 3 right there that is awesome first the piebald now this guy right here I can't believe that. This is actually a spot where we deleted the zone, if I remember right. It turned to a doe-only zone, and we deleted it so that we could get another herd to spawn in. And it looks like this is what we got back. 
I can't tell right now if that's going to be a diamond rack or not, but we got to get close and see for ourselves. It looks like it is. That looks like the 258 to 260 rack. If I'm not mistaken, it seems like the one that makes it, so it should be good. There is a couple of other decent bucks in there, too, that we'll try to get. But obviously, that guy's our main focus right there. Ooh, there is actually another herd of whitetail right here. I did not even see these guys at first, so we've got two herds here. I think we might need to rethink our stand placement, because uh, that's not really going to do well for this herd right here. We're going to need to put it maybe on that side again. We've had it over there in the past, and it worked out pretty good, so I think that's what we'll do. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy to move. I don't really want to take a shot in this bunch, so try to get him to move out as much as we can. And that definitely does look like the rack that can make diamond. I think it is. Oh yeah, that's definitely one that can. So let's hope for the best on this shot. There we go, that should be good. And yeah, he's definitely going down. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these. And of course he went down a little bit. But, since that guy is not going to move, I guess we'll just take him. Well, I guess bringing out the old ghillie suit and uh, camo 270 has brought us some luck with the whitetail. We were running into quite the dry spell with them, as you guys saw on some of the recent live streams. We went for Whitetail briefly on the four-hour birthday stream that I did, and we just were not having luck at all. And it seems like our luck has got better. Here is the smaller buck, 192.70. I mean, he's not a bad buck either, but he does not even compare to the one that we just took out. And this little uh, doe decided to hang around, so we're just going to ignore her. But yeah, that definitely looks like one of the larger racks, I'd say. I think this is going to make it, and this actually might be the best looking rack of all of them. I think it is. Let's go ahead and claim this guy and see if he's a diamond. He is a diamond at 257, and I think he's definitely the rack that I thought. I said 258 to 260, but it looks like he was 257.10, so... I was close to getting his score right, but that's a really awesome whitetail. I do like this rack more than any of the others. I think it's probably the most realistic. Uh, the G2s aren't nearly as large as they are on some of the others, and it doesn't have a bunch of those tiny tines towards the front of the main beams. Those are like two of my biggest gripes with whitetail racks, and I think this one is probably the best looking out of all of them. And this guy's even just a little bit uh, uneven too. That makes it even cooler. Getting some really awesome whitetail today, more than I was expecting to since it's been a while since we've had a good whitetail day. So we got a couple bucks in here, but both of them look to be pretty small, so we're not really going to waste too much time on these guys. Let's just go ahead and try to get both of them down. I think we got at least one of those into a good vital organ. Second shot definitely started getting his health to drop, so I think we should be okay. Ooh, that is actually a really big rabbit. Um, I think we're going to take that out too. I mean, it is a kind of white tail. It's not uh, exactly what we're after, but that could be a pretty good trophy if it ends up being diamond. So let's see if we can hit this guy from here. There we go. Third time's the charm, I guess. So we got a nice rabbit and two bucks to pick up now. So it should be, yeah, right there. There's our rabbit. I was going to say I can't find this little thing, but right as I started talking, of course we found it. It is just a gold, unfortunately, but that estimate can make diamonds, so I figure it's always good to at least take the five to six weight ones out. There is the first one that we shot, a nice double lung, and this guy, I'm actually really curious where both of these shots hit. So the first one was vertebrae, and the second got lung. That explains why it didn't start losing health until the second shot. So we don't have the most ideal angle here, but I think we should be able to get this guy down. He's not too terribly covered up by brush. Now, the one thing I don't know is if there's anything else in there. 
He's the only one that I've seen. I ran out of the lodge and he's the only one that I can see as of now, but a lot of times they don't all spawn in because the lodge is extremely close to this zone. So there could be some that we're missing. Definitely looks like there was two bucks here. We didn't even see the second one, but we got this guy right here. So let's just grab him and move to another zone. I do want to get the other ones tracked just to see what its fur type was. And this guy, oh, that was actually from a white-tailed doe. This one's got to be his then. Yeah, that is his, and it's just a common. I don't see any good bucks here, but there is quite a few of them, so we definitely want to try and get a couple of them down. I have no way of really telling which one of these is going to be the best, but I think we'll take these front two because they're going to be the easiest to get. And maybe a third if we can. I don't know if we got a buck, but we got at least two of them. Well, there's one of them floating away. We uh, definitely don't want it floating clear back to where we shot it from. So let's snatch this guy up before we go grab the other one. This guy is 164. We got right lung. And as for this other guy, I'm not really sure. I think we definitely got vitals, though. Yeah, it's definitely vitals. And there's more blood right there, so... We definitely hit one on that last shot. It's just going to be a matter of was it a buck or a doe and is it even going to die or are we going to have to put another shot into it? I'm guessing we'll probably have to shoot it again. Oh yeah, there he is. That is the one that we ended up shooting. I think he's actually going to come across so we should be able to just get a shot into him here. And I don't even know what happened there. I don't know if we hit him or if he just died from the first hit, but that was really interesting. All right, let's see what happened here. We did only hit it once. Honestly, I think what might have happened is maybe when we took that second shot, he was technically already dead. And by the time we pulled the trigger, it just went through his dead body. I think that's most likely what happened there. So I think we're going to call it good on the whitetail grinding for now. I'm probably going to continue grinding for whitetail right after I finish this video, but for this video in particular, that's probably all we're going to do since we already got two really awesome trophies that I never expected to even find in the first place. I think it's about time we jump into the lodge and try to find places to put them. I don't even know where I want them at this point. I've got a lot of places that they could go but just none of them are in the main lodge because we've got so much in here already i think i'm gonna replace one of our bucks in one of these huddle mounts but all of these are the og ones or not og but old scoring for the white tail they uh changed the scoring on them a little bit to where they don't score as high anymore as a lot of you know and this was from before they did that so i don't really want to change that honestly i have no clue where to even put these I guess temporarily, we'll just toss one of them up here. So that is our diamond one right there across from, I believe, the last diamond that we killed. Yeah, so two very similar diamonds across from each other. I think that looks pretty good. Honestly, I think what we're going to end up doing is maybe breaking down this mount and replacing it with another huddle whitetail because I think that would make more sense just to save space, so... We're going to craft a huddle whitetail out of those three trophies that we just took off the wall, or, well, two plus our piebald. There we go. There is the brand new huddle whitetail. I actually like how that looks. That looks pretty good right there. Although, let's see what other poses we can get. That one's not too bad either. In fact, I think that's probably how we'll leave it. I might move it to a different location in the lodge, but for now it's going to chill right there. Then we'll break down that other one and put those two up top here. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. We're going to go ahead and end it there. If you did enjoy it and you're brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit the like, and ring the notification bell so that you guys will never miss an upload. Also, be sure to comment down below with a video suggestion or your favorite part of the video. I try to respond to as many of the comments as I can, so if you leave a comment down below, there's a very high chance that I will reply to it. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!